Have you ever waited hours for a render only to look at the image and wish you'd picked a different color for something in the scene? Or wish you could adjust one of the lights without having to wait all those hours again? Hi there, I'm Sean Kennedy and I'm a visual effects artist with over 20 years experience in film and TV. I've been using Blender for over half that time and I'm excited to be able to introduce you to compositing. This course covers a range of topics that involve compositing. The first practice we'll go over is how to use compositing in conjunction with 3D. This means breaking down your 3D render so when you put it back together later, you'll be able to adjust almost anything you want. It also means creating some of the render intensive effects like depth of field or motion blur in compositing rather than 3D, which can save you minutes or even hours of rendering time. The next topic we'll cover is adding visual effects elements to live action footage. This is standard practice on movies and TV shows nowadays, and you'll learn the basics of layering effects and incorporating them into the footage so they look as if they were actually there on set. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at keying a green screen shot. There's a staggering amount of work that can go into creating a perfectly keyed shot, but I think I've whittled it down to the core techniques so that you'll have a pretty good idea of how to tackle it. This course is generally aimed at beginners or intermediate artists who want that better understanding of how to control your renders as much as possible in post-production. But I think I've covered things to the point where even if you're an advanced artist, you'll pick up a thing or two. I really hope this course helps you start thinking of compositing as an essential part of your workflow, whether it's 3D art, 2D visual effects, or anything in between. I'll see you in the first lesson.